any general who ventures upon a battlefield without understanding the enemy is doomed to defeat. These people learned how to control others through the use of a hidden knowledge. A mystery always holds sway over those who don't understand it. And the priesthood was born. No king ever existed without the permission of the priesthood. Now, I don't care what religion you're talking about or what period of history you're talking about, it is the truth. If you really want to take over the government and make it a theocracy, because I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen if you do that, you're going to burn people at the stake who disagree with you. And if that happens, I'm going to have to take up arms all over again. Their whole goal with this philosophy is to teach all men and women that the only end of life is to seek the utmost pleasure and happiness that you can get out of it because when you die there's nothing else. You see the enemy has always been here. It's your uncle, your aunt, your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your nephew, your nieces who belong to the fraternal orders collectively known as the mysteries the very highest degrees of which, combined together, make up a secret order known as the Illuminati. Their goal is to destroy all existing religions save theirs, all existing governments save theirs, and shackle the mob in a system of eternal oppressive debt chained to a computer for the rest of their life in a propagandized world to make them believe that they are happy in this system. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours because you're operating from a place of ignorance and until you change that you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your en enemy and if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. You can't fight the battle. You shouldn't even be on the battlefield. That's why you're losing the war. And don't tell me you're not because I'm in a place of great knowledge about who's winning and who's losing this war. And I can assure you, you're losing the war. Doesn't mean it can't be turned around. But it'll never be turned around until you learn what you need to know. You don't even recognize half the weapons that they use against you. And some of them seem so insignificant that you don't even try. Do you understand what I'm talking about? What is our common bond truly? Freedom. Freedom. Without freedom, you can't be a Christian no matter what denomination you belong to. You can't be a Buddhist. You can't own a donut shop. You can't drive from here to Oregon. You can't be an American because that's what it's all about and that's the only thing that it's all about. Nothing else. Nothing else.